Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy HellChildWatts here, here back at it again with a new gameplay commentary for you guys today. And this time we're doing Trindamir Top Lane, one of my favorite, favorite champions as of right now, but yeah. Let's see how this game goes. This game is pre-recorded. Just letting you guys know that right now. I recorded it the other day and I have I wasn't able to do a commentary on it because there was a lot of noise in my background. So <clears throat> I didn't want to get you guys annoyed with that the whole time. Look at that. Recording. Well, I actually said that. Well, okay. Well, anyways, guys. I'm going to go down the teams right now. We got we got Ash, Ash in the ADC. Ezreal in the mid. Rengar in that jungle, jungle game. And we got a Garen support. Yeah, that's right. I said Garen support. I have no idea what the hell's going on. And right now, I'm just reading, I guess. The, what the hell am I doing? Just standing there reading that? I actually read that? Wow. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to record this. I had this game being recorded. I was I'm, I record almost every single one of my games, so guys. Letting you know right now. And since I hadn't uploaded a trend in your game, so I was thinking about it. I was like, nah, might as well do it. So... Basically, that's what we're doing right now. I had to leash for our Rengar since he started in the Golems, going for that red buff first. And I am the top lane against Yorick. And then we I got Ezreal in the middle against a Fizz, and I forgot who's in the bottom lane, but yeah. Um, Yorick is an annoying ass champion. Main, main reason why, because I, I don't know if it's his Q or his W, whatever. Those little things he can send out, those things are annoying. All they do is slow you so bad. Look at this. Like, he doesn't know I have a heal right on. I have no idea why he's doing this to me right now. I had to I had to end him, guys. You know that. You know that. Do not challenge the trend in the mirror when he has almost full fury on, guys. Come on. You guys should know that by now. And then, like, I don't, what I don't get, he ignited me and he started running. Guys, come on. Come on. I'm a silver four player. And even I know that. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not trying to put myself above anybody. I'm just saying. But yeah, pretty much this is kind of a stomp in the top lane for the remainder of this game. Um, basically, by the way guys, I just hit 200 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you very much. We did it, boys. Oh, not, oh I know how you guys can think that 100, or 200, 200, 300 subscribers is like no big thing. But yo, I've been working at this for a while, okay? So that makes me happy. And we got a, a Zen Zhao coming on here for a gank. Look at this, dude. Look at this. You gonna gank me, boy? You gonna gank me, boy? Get at me, dog. Get at me. Come on, boy. Come on. Get to it. Do you feel that? My sword up your ass. What's up, homie? <laughs> I see your swords ain't as big as mine, boy. All right, if you're a nineties kid, you know that movie, Spaceballs. Come on, guys. Come on. But yeah, um, I made like myself like a little small little logo there. If you guys are seeing it right now at the bottom right, I know it's a little <laughs> dull and boring, but hey, I like it. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully you guys are enjoying my 1080p 60 frames per, per second quality. And if you guys want me to up upload uh, my settings video of my rendering settings and everything, please let me know and I will do so. It looks like Gang Garen's about to be taken out by Gangplank over here. I'm trying to like keep myself moving, not getting killed while I'm checking that out. But I guess Garen gets out of there, okay, so that's fine. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I always have the tendency of running somewhere and then getting distracted by looking around with my ca with the camera, and then I end up like in the middle of some uh, my opponent's face. You guys get what, you know what I'm saying, right? Oh, I missed that one. I misclicked. I misclicked, guys. Misclicks. And right now you can see that I'm running at 99 MS ping, boys. That's as best as that's as good as my my like. I guess you could say signal gets, guys. Like Time Warner, step your game up. What's up? But pretty much, guys, this entire game, I'm out laning this fool so hard. Like, watch. Just check this out. All he does is poke me down, run away, and then I'm look. Watch this. I just heal up like there's no tomorrow. This yeah, boy, get off me. And since I like, I know that you guys are gonna give me crap for not having the button set down or not having the mindset of just holding control and picking an ability. And I missed that CS so yes, like a dumbass. But yeah, um, I know the voice and everything is gonna be a little bit delayed from the video because I am recording with Audacity as of right now. Usually I record with OBS. So since this is a pre-recorded gameplay, I know it might be a little off, guys. So bear with me on bear with me on this one. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you guys want me to do a, a, a video of how my settings are on my Sony Vegas, please let me know and I. Be sure to do that. No problem. All questions answered. Um, 
Hopefully you guys are enjoying the quality of my videos, man. I really appreciate this. All the support and the 200 subs. Here you go. TPing back in. Don't want to miss any of that beautiful form, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But, like, Trendemir is... If you guys haven't tried him yet, he's one of the best champions. Like, just, like... You could rank up with him so easily, unranked. Like, once you just free farm, like... Free, split push as much as you can, pretty much. That's all you have to do. And since his, I think it's his passive that allows him to have crit almost every single time, almost every other time. Um, my best build, the build, uh, way, the way I go is I go Bork, then I go Static Shiv and crit items. I always get Bork first because it helps me with that little, little bit more of sustain because my masteries and everything are not, I mean my runes are not at all close to being full. <laughs> I only have two pages, one's AD and one's AP, so... <laughs> I know a couple of people are out there that will understand that. So do not get mad at me. Do not give me crap. And uh, I noticed that I've been cussing a lot of my videos. I know I said this before, but that will stop. That will start calming down, guys. Don't worry. It's going to be different from now on. And does Ezreal... Oh, Ezreal almost got that all. Hollow's, Hollow's Fizz. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at these dives, people. Look at these dives. Where's he going? Where's he going? I know you don't have this warded, boy. I know you ain't got this warded, dog. Hey, home skillet biscuit. Let's go, dog. Back up, watch, check this out, check this out. I don't even know if I get the kill. I'm probably just like amping you guys up for no reason. <laughs> watch. Oh yeah, he starts running back and watch this out. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. I have to do this, I have to do it. I, I'm gonna ult in right here, there you go. Just, we'll get that last hit. I don't even care to get it. Just go walk out, heal up, and back off. Since Yorick had no, I, Yorick, I don't even know why he didn't come down to get me. You know, that's what I do not get. Your mid lane, you see the your top lane. If you're in the top lane, you're going against a mid lane play, player. Um, and you see him in the mid lane coming up towards the top at really low health. Help your mid lane out, yo. Start heading down a little bit and not just leave a farm like this. Look, you can still farm right there. And look, he goes down to ward. Which I can understand that, but on the map right before we went back, there was two, no, three people on my team that went back. If you don't see that at the top right of the map right now. And yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video before this one which is the uh, the sale on skins so hopefully you guys are hitting that up making sure you get those skins half price what's up what's up and um yeah guys basically whenever a new update comes out i know i'm probably gonna be the last one to know about it not really just like second to last to put up a video but i am getting on that ball i am keeping up with the whole like league of legends news and all that and i will be Uploading as fast as possible as soon as I figure out what if there's something new that coming to the board coming to the board and everything guys, so please uh, Keep in touch with me about that if you guys know about anything in the future coming up. Let me know I'll be there. I'll make a video. Let, let's, let's spread the word about these this news guys um, uh, As soon as I saw that they were making a new HUD I made a video Right then and there, you know, um, I know it's like a day late and stuff, but yeah, I'm sorry about that guys um But I'm on that ball and uh, hopefully you guys are liking the, the the content I'm providing. I know a friend of mine. Um, we didn't we go we live in the same city. We didn't even know we each other each one of us plays. We know from each other from friends and friends. And he enjoyed my channel because he thought it was a little bit more professional, good quality, good commentary, good everything. And thank you, you know who, bro. Um, and I'm hoping that everybody else feels like that as well. You know, um, just leave, give me some feedback in the comments, guys. Let me know what's going on. And uh, like I said, thank you to everybody. We reached 200 subscribers, yo. And my boy in the bottom lane. Yo, I'm playing with Fiji, by the way, if you guys remember Fiji. Uh, he's still learning, so can't get mad at him, man. Um, he's kind of feeding a little bit right now, but it's all good. Your boy, HC White T, is going to carry this boy. And you know what depresses me? I do badass this game, but then as soon as I play ranked, this is not ranked, guys. This is normal, by the way. As soon as I play ranked, I get, I, I could go eight games winning in normal straight. But then as soon as I get in ranked, we get AFKs. Oh wait, what's going on here? I forgot about this. Oh yeah, yeah. He wants me to come and help him, even though he's got that. And then watch, I'm just gonna be like, ah, I got this. This Yorick, see what I mean? Your boy's getting killed over here, and he stays there. These, this is bronze plays right here, people. Not me. This Yorick. This is bronze plays right now. But yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, cussing. My bad. But <laughs> which, look at this. Little tip, guys. If you're in the top lane, once again, I'll say it twice just so you can make sure you guys can hear me. If you're in the top lane, I don't even know why I use my. Oh yeah, that's why. I think this is where I die. 
Oh, anyways, if you're in the top lane and your boy's getting killed, uh, right next to you, right next to the map, uh, right next to you, dude, go down there, help your boy out. Don't be such a pleb and just stay up there and not help out at all. Look at this. I was going for that tower as soon as they, as soon as I saw Ezreal, oh, I failed right here. <laughs> I wasn't at the wall yet. But as soon as I saw, as soon as I saw Ezreal getting in trouble, I headed his way. You got, you got to keep your homies on attack, guys. Oh, watch, watch this out. Hit that ult as soon as you're about to die. Thank you. My homie Ezreal came down to help you. If you see a friend in need, help his booty out, yo. Don't be afraid to like help out in a two v one. Come on, so for sure kill. If he kills one, of you, if he kills your boy, make sure you're there for the roundup. You know, right here, you get my bork. Like I said, I get my bork first of all. They get my berserker greaves and my static shiv. I believe. I think. Am I am I the only person that does that? Every game is a different build. Let me know now. <laughs> I know I'm not the only person that's like that. One second, let me get a drink of water. I'm thirsty as hell. Oh my god. Vitamin water, guys. It's awesome. But yeah, like later on in the game, this is what I like about Trendomir. He could You could solo dragons like nothing. Even if you have like three points in your Q, all you have to do is hitting and hitting and hitting. And as soon as your fury comes all the way up, you just heal all that back up. And you do it over and over because the cooldown in Q is what, 12 seconds right now? Without any cooldown reduction, anything. So, you know? <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm coming down with something. But yeah, like, oh, by the way, the, the new Gangplank, I hate it. Because with your W, instead of like, what was it, giving, giving your team the extra damage, it gives those barrels. You saw those barrels right there? And I hate them because I don't understand them. I could read it and everything. I could play them and ARAM. That's the only time I play game playing. Um, but it's just... They're too weird, like, with the gunpowder and all that stuff. Oh, crap. I forgot about this. This is where I just, like, decided just to recall. And then uh, TP2. Wait. Oh, yeah. This is where I failed the recall. So I was like, damn. Then I was thinking, what if I could gank mid lane right here on my way up, you know? But Ezreal started going the wrong way. So I'm over here acting like a dumbass. Wait, do I get this kill? Do I? Come on. I know I get this kill. No, I don't. Oh, and that's when Ezreal missed that easy ult, man. Ezreal, my boy, let me down right there. But look, see? I'm low on health, but I'm still coming back up to help my boy out there. Get over here, Zen. Oh, you can't do nothing, boy. Oh, I just use my board. Guys, don't be afraid to use your... Oh, this is where I die. But don't be afraid to use your Blade of the Rune King, guys. If it's there to be used, and it has such a, like, it's like a minute and a half cooldown, so you don't really have to. Look at the jukes. Look at the jukes. They went for me in that bush, and I just took off. Gang, I mean, Blitzcrank does not have his hook. So get out my town, boy. Get the hell out of Dodge. Um, But yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> it's been like two minutes since it said it. Uh, if you're trying to mirror, uh, split push as much as you can, guys. If you're trying to you gotta get that that farm up. If you don't have at least 200 farm by the end of your game, you're doing something wrong. If you have that 200 plus farm, and you're like maybe two kills, five deaths, you're still gonna be doing damage as if you were kind of fed, guys. It's not only with trying to mirror. I know people are gonna say something, but I'm just saying out of, like, for example. Um, but yeah. Oh, wait, what, what, what's happening right here? But yeah, guys, right now I'm 5, 0, oh, and 1. That assist was from that Ezreal kill on Zen Zhao. And see, like, we know we can't 2v3 right now. We can 2v3, but I don't have my ult. So we're just here. Don't don't rush fights that you know you're probably going to lose or anything. If you need to defend, just defend. And uh, watch out with those hooks. <laughs> But you see what I mean? Those little ghost guys that Yorick sends out, those things are annoying. It can slow down anybody. For some reason, with my Master Yi, it slowed me down. And Master Yi can't be uh, slowed down in Highlander, which is his which is his ult, guys. If you guys did not know, I'm just saying. Master Yi's been out for so long. Um, but yeah, see? like They're pushing up this lane, and since mid lane is being defended, at least have two people versus three, at least. They're not going to dive it, for sure, because we're too high of level. And look, then Zin Zhao, I know he's recalling right here because he didn't move anywhere else. Look at this. Get out here, boy. Don't be stupid. Place a ward if you don't know if you're going to be, like, if you you don't know if your team, the opposite team has vision. Be smart, people. Don't don't be making stupid decisions. I know I make them in the past. I know I make them. <laughs> so I can't really say anything. <laughs> I'm just being a smart ass right now, guys. I'm sorry. 
Um, <laughs> this is going to be a long gameplay. I'm letting you know right now. So if you got you got nothing to do right now, you're enjoying this gameplay, sit back, relax, get something to drink, and just chill out. And let the raging begin from the, my opponents. Look at this. I'm making sure I'm getting this full because I don't want... Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this out. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Look at I don't even know why he stops right there. Look at this. Look at this. Why would you stop? Tell me that right now, guys. Why would you stop? Look at He comes at me, too. Look at this. Oh, my God. Do I get this? No, I don't. This is the one I do not get. Okay. See? I didn't rush it. I didn't chase it. Because I knew I was going to die under tower. And even though he was one shot left for me to get that triple, I didn't get greedy. The second you get greedy, guys, that's when you start messing up. And see, as soon as I see, I'm going back, watch. And see, static shift. I'm going back, as I'm going back, I'm checking out all these other lanes, seeing which lanes are pushed, seeing which lanes are not. And it, I see bottom lane being pushed, I see mid lane going, like, they're pushing it up slowly, but surely. And see, like, and also ask your jungle. Ask your jungle if you can have a blue or red. Don't be a douche and just take it. See, I asked them, okay? So they can't get mad at me. I asked them, and he didn't answer me, so I'm just going to take it. <laughs> I say don't be a douche, and I'm over here taking it without him answering me. But, hey, he did not say nothing. Oh, my God. Look at that clear. It's not really that big of a clear against, like, neutral monsters, but... It's all good. See, like, they started pushing me back. I was about to hit top lane, but now I see my boys over here getting trumped. Get it, Donald Trump? <laughs> Get it? They being fired. Um, but I'm guessing they have this warded because they just start hauling ass back. But yeah, but see, like my boys are still backing off little by little. I was saying to bait them out because I could, I could one v three them right now. And this dude, Alex, Mister Ezreal, he's waiting for it. Like he's baiting it hard. But I'm telling you, they had it warded. I just didn't think about it at the time. And oh, see. There you go, here you go, here you go. Check this out. He baits it out again. Oh, here it's it's probably warded. I don't know why he would come this way. He's got that. There you go, my boy. What's up, though? Um, then I see a top lane. Bottom lane is a little push, but there goes Gary. He's gonna go and defend that. And I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be pushing that a uh, lane that I know is coming towards my way. I don't have to worry about warding too bad or having them come up behind me. And I see the dragons up right now. So see, I warded up one thing. One thing, guys. Get those str strategic bushes, guys. Get bushes that you know they're probably gonna walk through. Don't get the the bushes that are just, or don't even just place them in the middle of nowhere, hoping that they walk through and let you know that they're there. I used to be that guy. <laughs> After I say that, I confess. I confess. I confess. Ow! What is this on my leg? Ow! Okay, sorry guys. I got like a mosquito bite or something. Um. But yeah, see, they're all in the mid lane. Nobody's coming up to contest me right now. And my team's doing a good job. My team's doing a good job by stalling. But then I see that, that my team's probably going to need some help. So I start heading down. See, as soon as I say they're going to need some help, they die. Look at, look, at, look at this. Look at this. And I see the Blitz Cramp might be coming towards me. So I'm against this bush right away. And hopefully he comes through here. If not, just start pushing up through the bushes, guys. If you're trying to counter like, counter anybody, go through bushes. Get out of sight. Get out of mine. And look, I just ignore the minions. I go for whoever's doing the most damage. Watch. See? Watch. I think this is where I died because Fiji over here wasn't helping me for crap. And he wasn't paying attention. Yeah, he wasn't paying attention to the map right there. Fiji, I'm calling you out on that one. Um, he was there backing. Oh, yeah, this is where I got mad at him. He's backing still right there. See? Don't recall. There, bro. Don't. Why Why would you recall so close to an enemy? Even after you didn't help. Like, he didn't help me by even shooting the volley over the wall. You know? I'm over here dying, about to kill a Blitz Crank, and he doesn't do anything. And he, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was making fun of Garen, because Garen had no boots. He had two chain vests, a uh, Doran shield, a little health thing, a long sword, and five potions. <laughs> he had no items, pretty much. Oh, yeah, yeah. And with this teammate, with this person, I don't get, like... Wait, is it right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? He sees me running away from their, uh, from their lane, and he still stays there. I don't get that. I really don't. Sometimes I just feel like, like, to tell them to stop. Like, they're just asking for it sometimes, you know? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, oh, that, see, I could 2v1, but if I had my ult, if you have your ult as Trendamere and you're this fed, 
you can kill anything pretty much. And if you have like enough uh, enough uh, attack speed and crit chance, you're good. You're you're golden, pony boy. Look at this. Every almost every hit is a crit. Uh, if not every hit, every other hit is a crit. And since my attack speed is, is pretty damn good, I don't have to really worry about not critting. So, um, yeah. So that's a good thing to know about. Stop going through jungle. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're the AC ADC guys, do not go through the jungle by yourself. Even if you're not fed and if you're not doing as much damage as you think you you are doing, you know. Because then you're gonna give them a free kill, and you get caught out, and you might be in, right, might end up feeding the wrong person. You get me? You guys get me, right? Look at then you, you don't you could come back and clear your camp later. Why would you stay there with my, half my team there, guys? See what I mean? That's some booty right there. And look at, every time you see a big farm like that, Trinomir, you go in, clear that wave pretty quick. And since your your E procs off every single time you kill something, nice nice volley by the way, Fitch. Every time you you kill something, your E procs down the uh, cooldown. So you're you every time you're killing something. Is going down a second, and that cooldown is maybe six seconds. And after that, you could hit it again. Don't worry about it. And then also another thing, I'm like, it's because I'm, I'm watching the video as we're doing this, guys. So <laughs> it says stop chasing. If you're chasing for a kill, you're being thirsty, and you know what happens when you're thirsty. The girl don't give it up. If you're thirsty, you're just wasting your time on on, on like a girl that's gonna use you. And th that's like pretty much exactly what it means. Like when you're chasing somebody, you're trying to get that kill. You're trying to have them let them give it up, but it ain't gonna happen. They're probably just gonna get away or have their have their uh, <laughs> have their boys come and beat your ass. Trying to stay. Oh yeah, this is where they were asking me to stay with them because they couldn't help. I couldn't. They needed my help for pretty much everything now. Not not being not being stupid or anything by saying that. I'm being serious. Like. You can read the chat right there. Train the mirror. Stay with us. Both Rengar and Ezreal saying that. But like... Okay, and then Ezreal's just using his ult for any reason now. Just to push him down. But that's good. That's good. Like if you see that your team... Oh, I think this is where I die. Uh, but if you see that the, your team is needing your help. And you're Ezreal and you need... Oh, wait. I didn't use my Bork right there? I, did, I had Flash but I didn't know it. I, I thought I had used it. That's where I died. That's where I made my mistake. But yeah... If you're Ezreal and you see your team team fighting, like or, or anything, and they need somebody to engage or initiate with a good amount of damage, shoot that ult. Don't be afraid. You have a low ass cooldown on that ult. And yeah, but I think this is where Garen actually got boots. So I was proud of him. Um, so basically, after my static shiv, I go straight for Infinity Edge. You got to do it, you know. And since I am trying to mirror, you go for that uh, agility cloak. I think it's called for that for that crit chance. And uh, Infinity Edge is one of the best items you could get on Chandamir because that critical strike damage. You know what I mean? Like it's just tremendous and overpowered. And see, look, see, your Rick is going into the tower for no reason. Look, watch. I'm just gonna chase. I'm, 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 I'm getting thirsty for this, and I messed up right there because my E did not do anything. But look, he stops to like try and kill me. This is where Gangplank is coming out. And this way, I just take off. Look, and plus, as Chenomir, you're pretty much you're pretty fast. So, and see, as soon as I was running away, I knew they weren't chasing after me because my E. If you guys did not know this, with your E, that little picture, it will light up if there's an enemy close to you. That's one little thing. Even if they're invisible, like Rengar or even um, Shaco or even Twitch, it will pop up if they're next to you. So, a little fun fact, guys. You, you just gotta keep your eye on it, you know what I mean? You can't just, like, rely on it too bad. And I see the mid lane is pushing really bad into our... Or starting to push into our inhibitor turret. So this one, like, as soon as I see that, I'm backing. Or, and then I see that Ezreal might need some help. So I'm over here on my way to help out my boy. But I, I'm this is where it was stupid of me. Because I walked inside jungle blind. There could have easily been somebody right there. As soon as I came over that wall to get these wolves. Um, pretty much, I'm taking farm anywhere I could get it, you know? Report Zins out and don't be toxic like toxic like that guys and look at who look who's saying it Yorick Yorick's the guy that I'm against in the top lane. He's the one that fed me, you know Oh wait, is this where I messed up too? I think this is where I messed up in the team fight. I went off the wrong way, but um 
No, this isn't where I messed up, is it? Yeah, this is where this paint outplays me right here. Um, but yeah. What's it called? I should have known when to get out. <laughs> but then nobody follows up. Look at that. Nobody follows up right there. That's what I do not get. Um, but yeah, guys, like, if you see a teammate initiating and they die but they leave the the opponent or enemy, whatever you want to call it, they leave, leave them really, really weak and it's a strategic opponent where it's one of those opponents that you actually have to worry about in the late game. Um, make sure you go for that kill, if, especially if they're by themselves. But if it's more than, like, like for that instance right there, it's just Blitzcrank by himself. The rest of the team was dead. And nobody followed up on it. You know what I'm saying? Like the people right next to me, they were all, like, I would say, like, like, they were all, not if not half health, then they were pretty much almost full health. You get me? Um, but they had enough juice to take out one person. So you gotta get those follow-ups, people. And I see that they're pushing that mid lane, so I'm gonna make sure... By the time they get to my tower, I'm going to make sure that my lane is pushed up completely. That way it's one less lane to worry about. And then, yeah, I think after... I th see? Yeah, see? And they're stalling them right now. They're stalling them so bad. They're, they're not engaging. They're keeping them back. Just throwing those skill shots. Garen, he has his times where he's just throwing. But I'm just saying. But see, they're still there. And I'm over here pushing a tower, people. This is tower right before in hip tower. Dragon's up. Some, you guys be thinking about all these possibilities. Like, nobody's come for me yet. And I'm still pushing. There, I can see, still see some of them on the map right there. I can see Fizz for sure. Yorick's down there. I don't know who's coming up. I, I don't see, like, entirely everybody up here. And then I see Zinzao right there coming for me. See, as soon as I see him, I back off because, you know what, that's less stress on my base. And that gives my my people, my team, it's time to breathe and just haul ass somewhere else. Look at Get your hooks down, boy. See, they're coming after me right now. But watch. That's where I failed right there. I think this is where I died to. No, wait. Is, is it? Yeah, that's where I died. <laughs> I forgot that as soon as you pop your bork, guys... There's a, there's a little bug that I've noticed. As soon as you pop your Bork, um, your your ultimate gets canceled. Sometimes it happens. I don't know. Um, oh yeah, and this is the game where Rengar was not keeping tabs on the damn dragons. I had to be helping out a lot immensely with those dragons, even free ones. I had two people at the top lane with me. I had two people at the top lane with me. One per, uh, and then we had two. Or one of them in the mid lane, and then one uh, person getting the dragon, which could they could have easily killed. You get me? Um, if you're jungling, I'm, I mean jungle. I always have my mind on that dragon, you know. But if you if you're jungling, keep your eyes open and keep your eye like especially with the new HUD. The even the announcer, even if you don't have vision on the dragon, it still gives you a new timer and it lets everybody know that it's it's gone or somebody took it. And this guy, as soon as the said, well, as soon as the dragon was gone, he was still running down there, with the full, with the like, pretty much their entire team heading down that way. So there was pretty much no point in going down there, and he still went down there. You get me? Like, and we have no vision in jungle, so I was actually scared at this point. And then now I see Garen's running away from, uh, it looks like a gangplank and a blitz crank. It makes me wonder how did Riot come up with these names, you know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it looks like, oh yeah, yeah okay, 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 check this out, check, check this out, check this out, make him think that I'm running away from him, when I'm really just getting him away from Garen, and then walking over here, and they, di they dipped on Garen to come after me, and I just went over the wall, and the Garen's still running this way, this is why I do not get, and what he's saying, like, jump over here, jump over here, and check this out, check this out, check this out, why would you stay there, Yorick? Why would you stay there, boy? Why would you stay there, boy? And now I'm just doing as much damage as I possibly can. Just... Ah! That, oh, yeah. That's when I back up. Then I see that Gangplank has his, uh, has his things right there. So I was like, I'm dead anyways. So I might as well go in. As soon as I went back in, he exploded them. So. <laughs> but at least I was doing damage to every single player on their team. Which led to this right here, people. Look at that. Look at that. Aced. A little late on that ultimate feature. But yeah, Ace, guys. This is where they should be pushing up lanes and everything. So, 
That's why I said in the chat. Yeah, I go for Last Whisper here, and I believe my last item might be a Bloodthirster. I'm not too completely sure, guys. This was like two days ago. I've been playing like daily, but I just got really frustrated because of... Uh, oh, yeah, Fiji game, Finny Edge. Yeah, Finny Edge was really... Because uh, he got Runans. Runans is not really good. That good against champions is just good against CSing, pretty much. Um, but, yeah, like... The reason I haven't been playing too much is because, like, I, when I'm playing by myself, I like to solo queue ranked, right? But when you solo queue, all you get is AFKs and feeders and trolls and dolls and bulls. I don't know. Yeah, I, made, I made a couple of those up. Don't, bitch can't guess which ones they were. Huh? Um, but yeah. And, yeah, like, it just gets ridiculous. If you're gonna join a game, join it. Don't just AFK for the entire thing just because you're trying to get deranked so you can go against easier people, guys. Um, but yeah, see, look, everybody, they're pushing the top and bottom lane, but they're not looking this right now. Only have one person split pushing. Only, almost at, at any time, only have one person split push. You get me? Look at this. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. For the team to get here. Fiji coming be up behind me, so that's good. Garen's coming behind him. And then this Yorick. I think we killed him pretty much instantly. And then we got this Fizz. And Blitzcrank over here. Blitzcrank pulls me into him. Why? I don't have no idea why you would pull me into that. Oh, you barely missed that. Oh. He pretty much pulled me closer so I could use my E. I mean, use my W and make his uh, teammate Fizz a lot slower. So that pretty much just set up the kill for my team. And as soon as I see that pretty much half their team is dead right now, I tell him, let's go Baron. Let's go get this. Because with Baron, that's easy push. That's easy lane pushes, guys. That's crazy easy. Um, you don't even have to be there CSing. You're meaning to do the work for you. All you have to be doing is walking right next to him. And we, t and we take this Baron down pretty quick as well. Well, for being four of us until now, that's when Fiji shows up, it goes down pretty quick. And at this point, I could solo... Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah. Why would you go in, Zinza? Baron's already going to be gone. He didn't, I don't think he had smite because he was in range for it. But he, the Baron's gone, he's still running in there. <laughs> like, oh, I keep failing at those dub, at those E's sometimes, guys. Don't judge me. Don't make fun of this. Fiji, get back, man. Remember, you're, if you're ADC, guys, remember that you are ADCs. You are not tanks. You cannot be up close and personal too much. I see, look at this. As soon as Ezreal's right here, I'm heading back. Garen keeps pushing. Garen keeps pushing. I have no idea why. Instead of helping... That could have turned out a lot worse. It could have ended with me and Ezreal both dying, giving somebody a double kill, and giving somebody that extra, I don't know, I wasn't going to say fed version of just like having one more extra kill, but one extra kill hurts, can hurt, can be the difference between having, oh, I forgot about that, the one extra kill can be the difference between having like, I would say, like that. 8 and no spike, uh, damage spike, without being killed, you know, I know it might not, there might not actually be a damage spike, but it feels like it, doesn't it, when somebody's fed as hell, there's no killing that fool, and right here I'm just getting this, this health, because, uh, Ezreal killed Yorick, but Yorick's passive was up, so Yorick just comes back to life for a little bit, Yorick has pretty much the same thing as Cyan, I'm guessing, and right here I'm telling Fiji, because you, he is Ash, uh, to Vision, and he did it perfectly, see, as soon as he shot it off, it, we have vision there. And right here, I think my Y got stuck on my keyboard, so I couldn't unhook it. So I just saw that there was nobody here, so I was like, ask her, I'll get it. And then I see these fools coming in here, and then I tell this fool, oh, this fool backs off. Why would you back off? You get me? Like you said, back off. Now you could back off. But I mean, back off the champions. Like, now I'm going to die because he didn't want to go in and take some people out with me. You, got, you see me? You see that, guys? And plus, he's Rengar. There was a bush right there. Extra damage. Yeah, I think I get the Bloodthirster right here for the extra sustain against tanks. Okay, they took another dragon. Where's Rengar? Over here warding the bot lane. And where's Fiji? Fiji is taking out camp. Um, if your team is there needing your help, especially for a dragon, do not be farming a camp. Come down and help. Even if it's like those two extra... Auto attacks, that's still damage on them, people. And then you gonna get that health back for a little bit. So, you know, help out. And this Yorick is, like, pushing, even though we're pretty much, like, pushing everything else. And he's still back here, which is a good thing. He's pretty much backdooring. 
right now. And there goes Fiji. Let's see. I forgot what happens right here. Let's see if Fiji could get this. Nope. But don't worry, I'm coming. I'm coming, boy. Oh, he flashed too, but I got that slow off. And why would he come back at me? You see this? And I know he has his old or his passive or whatever, so I just take off. Don't don't touch me. And then I'm just pretty much gonna push up this middle wave, I believe. Or am I go yeah, I think I push up this middle lane. Um by the way, even if you don't have any fury guys on for your Q, which is your heal. You can even just tap that Q button. It still gives you max, I think, 40 health. I'm pretty sure on the highest level. Um, hey, 40 health, 40, 40 health is 40 health. <laughs> that could easily be. That could easily save your life. I know I'm not the only person that's been there where you get left off with like 10, 15 HP. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, see, as soon as I see that they're pushing mid again, yeah, they're asking for assistance. But that was like, okay. When you, because they're getting close to our inhibitor turret, so I have to be down there. So as soon as I'm, like, as soon as I get there, I'm ready to buy something, exit that menu, and start hauling ass mid. Which I thought I was moving because I pressed, I right clicked on something, and I thought I was moving. And then I was looking for something at TP2. I thought they were going to ward, but they didn't ward. Um, I see Gangplank. He's bottling. He should be defending right now. Because they're going to use, I mean, sorry. Yeah, stupid. Um, no, but Gangplank made a good decision. That's what I meant to say. He made a good decision by coming back over here and helping out that mid lane. I had to use my ult just so I could get out of here. I think I'd lag or something. No, do I lag? No, that's where I could have killed him, but Gary didn't want to go in. Um, <laughs> remember, guys, my ping is not so good. My ping on a good day is like 90, especially nowadays with these rain monsoon season rainstorms. It goes down, it goes up to about like 200 ping. And I'm playing with 200 ping. People, yeah, and I still win. All cocky, <laughs> but yeah, like now that we're all pushed up, I see top lanes falling behind. But I'm not too sure since we can't really get that. Oh, Fiji should have been running back already. Um, since I see that we're at the inhibitor turret, look here comes Garen from behind. Garen should not be going to help our teammates. He should be going for that. He should be going for that damn inhibitor. But he wants to come and try and kill Fizz. I don't, I'm not sure if he does. I think he does, but then no, he doesn't because this is where Blitzcrank kills him. I think. Or it's just a pretty much a tank fight. And we all know how those end. Slow as hell. <laughs> you gotta be shooting at him for like 10 minutes. Okay, sorry about that. I got a little thirsty. <coughs> you see, Ezreal's doing a great job right there. He's 1v4ing, but he's not initiating. He's staying back at his distance where he knows his, his um, abilities can help him out. Where he knows the reach of his abilities, you get me? And then right here, look, I'm power farming right now. 230. Oh, excuse me. I went down the wrong pipe. Don't say anything. Um, when the, uh, I'm at 240 CS right now. I'm level 18. I'm 17 and 7. I might have a couple good amount of deaths, but I'm still pretty fed. So, I think I should start messing up a lot. Yeah, that's where I start messing up a lot. Look at this. Oh, yeah, this is where, like, why was Zinzal? You know your teammates are already dead, and you still go in, bro. And good job on that KS feed. It was a good job. You got the, you, you kill secured. Oh, my God. I pretty much see all I'm doing. If I get hurt, I heal up real quick with that lifesteal, then push a lane. I see Baron's coming up pretty soon. I know that the... What I need to do is stop flicking up the menu and actually hold it up for you guys to be able to see a little bit better. But see, look, watch. This is the time where we should be rushing Baron and then rushing a lane. And nobody's coming until the last second. That's where I started pinging a lot. Like, I got a little frustrated. Like, free Baron and nobody's coming. You know? <laughs> I need the help, man. Let's go. Look at this. Look how slow. That, look how fast that's going. And look, all I have to do is get my Q. Q back up. As soon as like, my Q goes up. I can heal again. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Hand of Baron. I just read that. Um, but yeah, I back up so I could be able to go get my blood there. So I believe I have enough. I think it's like 2700 after you get... Yep, 2700 after you get Vampiric Scepter. And I see, look at... Look at... You see my mouse? I'm looking at both... I'm looking at that map. Looking at which lanes are being pushed up. And I see... Since I see Ezreal needing a little bit of help here. I'm on my way, bro. I'm on my way, brother. Let's go. 
Let's go, homie. Let's go, homie. But since it's 2v maybe 4, we don't know how many there is, so we're pushing up slowly. And might want to stay out of those barrels. Now, see, I run in front of it, so I could be able to one. I could be the one that gets killed, because I, I did not want him to be getting killed. Oh my God, that Ezreal ult was perfect. Also, he, they're all in a bunch, and I'm telling Fiji to ult right there, because that would. I'm telling him to ult, but yeah, a little bit too late. Oh, um, gotta keep that the map awareness. Yeah, I was getting a little frustrated, but you gotta keep the map awareness. If he would have shot that ult, maybe huh, four seconds earlier, as soon as he spawned, that would easily have hit somebody and stunned him, and me and Ezreal could have easily cleaned up completely. Yeah, nah, I mean, and then uh, last whisper, something faster. That was looking right here, seeing what he's building, and he's building Infinity Edge still, so that's pretty good. He's still getting there. I think he bought it right there. Um. But yeah, I'm already at full build. I've been at full build for for like five minutes, yeah, give or take. Um, I'm at 248 CS. I think I'm at, I think I can get to 300 at the end of this game. I'm not too sure. I forgot honestly. This is where Zinza should have been leaving, but he stayed in. Stop, Hami. Get that Bork active. Get that Bork active. Never mind. I didn't even need it. I just noticed that. Whenever you're going, and then I see the dragons up. So I'm hauling ass over there. Look at this. This Garen stops to hit one damn minion. And then instead of using his Q to keep running faster, he turns around and hits it again so he can be running slower. So he's, uh, he's leaving. I'm like, alright, I'll take this dragon. Don't mind if I do. You just set it up for me. Thanks for taking off half that health. <laughs> he could have, like, if that. He should have been able to at least, like, send an ability last second and put in the effort to try and jack the, the damn dragon. Like, today, I was playing Amumu. Jungle. I know it's been a long time since somebody said seen a Moomoo. I didn't really like it, but yeah, I use my Q, which is that long like like strings that pull you into it. I use my Q on the dragon. And as soon as I'm mid, I'm mid way of getting to the dragon site while they were doing it, I, I smited the hell out of the thing. I still didn't kill it, and then I use my E. I pretty much spam my abilities just so I could get the last hand that dragon, and it helped. It might not be what you think that. Nah, I'm not gonna be able to get it. I'm not even gonna try. It. You gotta try it, you know. Especially if you have your team behind you, so. I'm not right there anymore, GP. We need to get that in Hib. That's what we need to get. Alright, let's go. Look, I'm distracting right now. My team should be here. Not going for kills. Garen, good job, though. Not going for kills, but getting the damn... Feeds, that should have been you in the back lane, dude. Um, but getting the damn inhibitor... Which we did not get. <laughs> this Ezreal's landing those shots, man. Oh yeah, this is what I was saying after uh, Bloodthirster get uh, Last Whisper, because he has the, the, the attack speed and the life steal, but he does not have damage to get through that any tank shield. And this Rengar, instead of getting this, that's two inhibitors right there. He could have gotten two inhibitors, and he's over here still chasing. You know. I don't have any more pings. That's how much I was pinging. I was pretty much telling this team what to do, guys. And I'm not even that good of a player either. Look at he goes for the he goes for the fizz. I don't know if he gets the kill, but if he does, that's cool. But if he doesn't, that's where I get a little frustrated. Now he's still not going for it. And Fizz left him alone. Uh I got ten seconds. Sorry, I was I have the tendency of looking look at look at that. The entire time he could have been getting it. Look at this, this is where I get frustrated. Rengar. Rengar. Nah, and there goes Blitz going back. So there goes our opportunity to get two inhibitors. Priorities, people. And then he gets killed. Priorities, guys. And then I saw TP insights came in. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's the, and then, if you have somebody going back door, guys, make sure to stall those ports, guys. Like, if you see somebody attacking an inhibitor at their base, and you get the rest, like, their team there with you, like, you're 4v5ing, but your boys in, the, in their back, at, right at their base, attacking the inhibitor, be sure to stall them any way you can. Give your teammate that extra, like, two seconds. Because two, in two seconds, you could go from half inhibitor life to no inhibitor life. You get me? So it's all about timing guys like you gotta help each other out look at this they're leaving me alone right here I'm 
They're leaving me alone. Sorry, I got quiet right there because I was like, really? And this, I think this is where Fiji cleans up. I think this is where Fiji cleans up. Fiji and Ezra clean up right here. Yeah. <laughs> now push. Now push. Push it to the limit. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> That's what it's like. <laughs> Ezra, go, 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 go. Never mind. Never mind. Back up. Back up. I forgot Gang Gangplank was still alive. <laughs> Just a little quick recap, guys. We are at 22 and 10 with 17 assists, 273 farm. Pretty much like a minute and a half, like, what they call revive time. I know there's a name for it, I just forgot about it. Yeah, this role is like, we need a backdoor and get the inhibitor. So I'm just like, I'm just trying to plan it out, guys. Look, 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 I see Rengar going for it. I'm like, my boy. My boy, Rengar and Ezra are going for it right now. All I'm hoping for is that there's no minion, like, line going through right now. So they can't really sell. And then we got this Fizz this whole time trying to defend this. So I think it's an AP, AP uh, Ezreal too, right? Yeah, it's AP... Roomglaive Ezreal apparently is free low, so you guys might want to try him out. I don't like Ezreal, so I ain't gonna do it. But yeah, see, we got that second inhibitor now. Fiji, I don't know what the hell he was doing at third, but standing still. And I told him to get that farm, but he didn't get that farm. And then now this Rengar just starts feeding, guys. Every game you have at least one or two feeders, so you gotta get used to it. And if you have, sorry about the sirens at the back. If, if you guys can hear the sirens, there's always ambulances, fire trucks, police. Always coming through my neighborhood, so <laughs> ignore it. You guys might be able to hear it there. Um, but yeah, you guys are you can't be frustrated. You can't get too pissed off. You can get a little pissed off. I'm just saying. I'm not saying you can't yell it, yell at him, give him a little spanking. I'm just saying. Oh, this this might be the longest video I have ever uploaded, guys. <laughs> We're going on this 47 minutes, but it's all good. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the gameplay and the commentary. Hopefully, I'm not letting you guys be too bored. But yeah, look, watch. I'm going to Baron by myself. I'm doing that damage. I'm getting my health back with blood there, so I got the attack speed. I can't die. I could 1v1 Baron. Easy. I could easily 1v1 Baron, even in the middle of his abilities. And by the way, if you guys did not know, this is Gangplank helping me out right here. Thank you, Gangplank. Thank you for that. But if you guys did not know, if you guys are behind the Baron... Oh, yeah. Oh, this part. I love this part. Because this, this Zao does not, does not give up. <laughs> I love that. Played it off. And watch. This is where I see. Oh, it's regening health. No, let me get back in here. Let me get back in here. See, I caught it right there, guys. Caught the Baron. I perfectly just caught it. It was almost going to, like, regenerate the entire life. So that was awesome. And see, my health is almost completely back up again. Hold on. I think this... Uh, Gangplank went after me instead of going for the tower. <laughs> I mean, going for the Baron. And I damaged him enough. Or hopefully, Rengar will be able to kill him. And then, this is where I saw him. I'm like, go to the bush... Jump back out, get that extra damage, get the extra damage, get the extra damage. And he doesn't get it. But yeah, um, then I see, oh wait, dragon's up. Maybe we can get our third dragon, help it out even more. But look, look at this. Get in that... Oh my god, this Rangar. And this Garen. Garen had pure, like, health and he couldn't do anything. Um, <laughs> this is where I saw getting really frustrated. <laughs> But by the way, guys, I, I know this might not be your cup of tea with the whole pre-recorded gameplay and currently being recorded live commentary. Not live commentary, but commentary. Um, I almost never do this unless it's a gameplay that I had when I was not able to record my voice. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, this one might be the only one that I do a pre-recording of. The rest of them might be the normal crap, you know? But if you guys don't mind it... I love doing this because I have so many gameplays that I have that I have no commentary over, but I can easily do a commentary over, tell you guys about my life, give you guys like little small personal stories, you guys know? So we'll see what happens after that. Look at this, 5,000 gold, 5 grand people. That's, that's where I just, I, I know I'm not the only one that gets confused, gets confused on these, with these uh, names of these uh, elixirs. Look at this, look at this. I just pretty much went all ham, guys, because I knew I had my all up. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much throwing right there. I was a little... We, we lost. Shut up, Rengar. No, like, right there, I was just like, nah. I was a little frustrated because Rengar and these fools, but then I see... 
because I, I was t- I, I wanted to see if they could actually do something without me like without me engaging without me helping them all I did was hurt two people not even too bad and look, I think this is where yeah Fizz gets away right here no no he gets killed look at that, dragon, free dragon their team should have gone for that their team should have seen it on the map that's what you call not having map awareness people see I'm pinging everything right now well not I pinged the dragon somebody else pinged the top lane but yeah yeah, there you go. That's where I agreed with it right there. Garen to go top lane and us. Somebody somebody go dragon. Look at look at Rengar, our jungler. He's not going for dragon right now. And right there, I'm just shaking my head like, are you kidding me right now? And then look at this wave clear by Garen. He had Infinity Edge and Black Cleaver. Alright. But then I, I was like, ah, alright. Maybe they could get it. Maybe they could get it. They have enough time to get it. All, the only person that's up is Blitzcrank. Rengar goes for the damn minions. <laughs> so you guys see my frustration right now. <laughs> Even watching this, I'm a little pissed. <laughs> no lie. <laughs> but then look at I'm telling this one, go, Rengar, go. Rengar, go. And look, he's barely going out. I guarantee, I guarantee you I get there before he does. And I think this where I think somebody does. I think Ezra does it solo. No, 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 no. But yeah, look. I'm at full build. I got my elixir guy, everything. I went for anything in dealing with the tower. That's all I saw was damage to towers. That elixir said just chose that one. Just in case I could split push back door, get any tower that we have remaining. And look at this. Look at Goodbye Dragon. Look at that damage. Get out of here. It's too easy, too quick. And I see Fiji's at getting why did he get another vampiric scepter? I just saw that. I do not get that. Anyways. Um well I think he should have gotten after that. That's probably a Phantom Dancer for the extra crit. Or even a Static Shiv. Hmm. He could pretty much build anything after that. But I don't know what he was building after with the Vampire Scepter. But look at this. 301 farm, guys. And my link, laning phase was like a, uh, done a little while ago. Now watch. Check this out. Like we, we have enough minions. I'm tanking it. So we're still fine. We're still fine. I use my ult just like I want to make sure we get this. You know, <laughs> I didn't use any abilities. I was happy with what we got because I saw my team was pushing. They were focusing me instead of saving their inhibitor. Those people know where you're going. Run, run, Polis, run! Look at this Ezreal. Look at this Ezreal damage. Look, at, goodbye. Get deleted. <laughs> Gameplay crit my booty. Look at this. Winions for days, winions for days, and I think Fizz or somebody goes back and defends it. Stop them from tell, yeah, teleporting back to home. Stall them, stall them, stall them. That's what I'm telling. You. I know my mouse got stuck on my, my on my screen right there, guys. Sorry. Stall for minions. Look at it. Good job, Garen. Garen's still pushing Fizz back. Look at it. Yeah, I think that's where. Yeah, this is where I was telling you guys. Fizz goes back. I remember this. Am I the only one that has that? I know I'm asking that question a lot, but do you like remember stuff that other people don't? Like other people have like pretty much kind of slow memories, but you rem you don't remember the whole thing, but you remember the little things. Excuse me. Like I forgot half of this match, but I remember the fizz went back. I called that before that even happened, and this is my first time watching this video after we recorded. I just remember I put this under. I have two folders. Um, one says what was it? Oh yeah, one says maybe 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 commentary. And the next one it says trash. <laughs> I don't go through the recycle bin. I just go straight trash, people. Uh, but then I see my, my teleport is up right now. And I guess I don't really n notice it. Wait, never mind. I'm, I'm, sorry, I looked down from the screen while I was saying that's a dumbass. I'm, I can't even commentate. Look at this. But yeah, see, even though we're destroying the turrets, I want to be able to make sure we get all the inhibitors just in case, people. But this is going to be the end of the gameplay because we do end it off right here. I don't even know how I survived right there. Oh, yeah, I ulted and went in. But yeah, guys. 26, 13, and 18 with with 301 CS. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this gameplay commentary. And I hopefully you guys will give that subscribe button a click. And also give that a like button. Um, uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Laters.